Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Ann Reardon and today we're making the 10 best easy Nutella recipes in 10 minutes. So let's get to it. First we have two ingredient Nutella lava cake and for this you will need Nutella and two eggs separated. I'll put all of the recipe quantities on the howtocookthat.net website for you in grams and ounces and cups. Whisk the egg whites to soft peaks and then in a separate bowl whisk together the Nutella and the egg yolks. Now that mixture will be very thick, so just warm it slightly in the microwave to make it a bit thinner, and then mix through one third of the egg whites to lighten it. Add the rest and then fold it through until you can't see any more streaks of white. Take a bowl and brush the sides of it with melted butter, then add some sugar and swirl it around the bowl and tip it out. This just helps to stop it sticking. Wrap some baking paper around the outside of the bowl to stop it flowing over when we bake it and then tie it firmly into place. Pour the mixture right up to the top of the bowl and then bake that in a hot oven until they are risen. Remove the baking paper, add a scoop of ice cream and some icing sugar on top and then scoop down to get that hot Nutella lava. Next, at number two, we have two ingredient Nutella mousse. And for this, you'll need Nutella and cream. This one's super easy. Add half of the cream and then mix that together with the Nutella and then add the remaining cream and whisk that on high speed until it thickens. Now you are essentially whipping the cream here, so you don't wanna over whip it or you're gonna end up with a grainy mixture. So just whip it until it's thick and you can see the sort of pattern of the beaters on it. Then pour that into serving bowls and refrigerate it for about four hours before serving. Coming in at number three, we have Nutella truffles. Again, two ingredients for this one. Take a silicon ice cube tray and fill it with melted chocolate. Tip it over and then shake out the excess. Now make sure you do temper your chocolate or if you don't want to do that, you can use compound chocolate instead. Then smooth out the tops and let that set. Pipe some Nutella into each chocolate and then top it up with more chocolate to seal it and smooth it off. And once that's set, you can just turn it over and push them out of the mold. And you can of course use milk or dark chocolate for these instead of white. At number four, we have Nutella star bread. Take some bread dough that has been risen once and I'll put the recipe that I'm using on the website Knock it down and then form it into a ball. Cut that dough into three. Then roll each portion into a flat circle. Make an impression with a plate and then spread some warmed Nutella into that circle on the first one. Add the next layer, some more Nutella and then the top layer. Put the plate back on top and cut around it to make a circle and then use a cup to make a smaller circle in the center. Cut from there to the edge in four places and then cut each of those in half and then cut each of those in half again. Now take one of your pieces and twist it twice. Take the bit next to it and twist it twice in the opposite direction and continue to do that the whole way around the circle. Now a shout out to Usia3000 who was the first YouTuber to do a video on this star in October 2013 and now it's everywhere. Take two edges and join them together and continue that with the rest of them. Slide that onto a baking tray and leave it in a warm place for about 15 minutes until it's risen and spread out. Then bake that in the oven until it's baked through and warm and golden with Nutella streaks all the way through. At number five, we have a Nutella pastry star and this is my cheats way of making the bread star. Cut three circles of puff pastry and spread them with Nutella and stack them just like we did for the bread version. Cut it and twist it in the same way and then take two pieces that are next to each other and join them together by pushing down with a fork. Bake that in the oven until it's puffed and crisp. At number six we have Nutella Icy Poles and for these you'll need Nutella, cocoa powder, corn flour, milk and vanilla. Put the vanilla, a little bit of the milk, the corn flour and the cocoa into a saucepan and whisk it until there are no lumps. Then add in the rest of the milk and the Nutella. 
Heat that over high heat, stirring it continuously until it starts to bubble and then keep stirring it for another minute so that it thickens up nicely. Pour this mixture into icy pole moulds and of course you could just use the mousse that we made with the cream and the Nutella for this but these are a little bit healthier with the milk instead of the cream. Then add your four sticks and freeze those until they're solid. At number seven, we have a Nutella mug cake, and for this you'll need milk, Nutella, cocoa powder, egg, sugar, baking powder, and plain flour. Place the flour, baking powder, sugar, and cocoa powder into a bowl and whisk it to get rid of any lumps. Add in the egg, milk, and that Nutella, and whisk it until it's just combined. Pour that into two cups so that they're both about half full and microwave it for 70 to 90 seconds depending on the wattage of your microwave and then sprinkle that with icing sugar and serve it immediately. Number eight, we have two ingredient Nutella soft serve and for this you'll need four bananas. Peel your bananas and slice them up into a plastic container and repeat that with all of them. Then put that in the freezer for a few hours. Once it's frozen, put the Nutella and the bananas into a food processor and process it until it's thick and smooth. Place it into a piping bag and pipe onto the ice cream cones. Now it's the banana here that makes these thick and the Nutella that's making it sweet and creamy. Number nine, we have yummy crunchy four ingredient cookies. For this you'll need flour, Nutella of course, sugar and an egg. Add all of the ingredients into a bowl and stir them together and you'll end up with a thick crumbly mixture like this. Place two tablespoons of that mixture onto baking paper and then slide that onto a baking tray and bake in the oven until they're crisp. At number 10, my favorite, we have two ingredient brownies and for this you need some warmed Nutella and eggs. Place the eggs in the bowl of an electric mixer and whisk on high speed for about five minutes or until they're thick and foamy like this. Mix one third of the eggs with the warmed Nutella and mix them together well. Then fold in the remaining eggs, making sure you don't over mix this. We wanna keep lots of that air in here. Pour that into a baking tin and bake it for 10 minutes. Yum, look at that. Make sure you put all of your requests in the comments below. Subscribe to How To Cook That for more cakes, chocolates and desserts. Click here for the recipes and here for my YouTube channel. Make it a great week and I'll see you on Friday.